Hello guys and welcome to today's online class where I'll be showing you how to win in the new map Alcatraz the place where boys become men as you can see I won all my recent games on this map with good number of kills too so I'll be sharing all my tactics tips strategies and all the good stuff that will help you win in this map the rest depends on your skill and how good you are in the game this video will be in two parts the first part is the tips and the second part is the gameplay video where you're gonna see me apply those tips in action and help you understand better as I'll be carrying random teammates to a 35 kills win which was full of non-stop action and chaos. Let's get started. On this map, there are a total of 4 high tier loot areas and the building in the center called Cell House is always a high tier loot area that's why it's my favorite place to land. Landing in any of these places will give you some really good loot at the same time you need to be ready to fight because many enemies will be waiting for you there. Alternatively you can land on the other areas to avoid fights but honestly guys if you're gonna play Alcatraz then you should go all in and play aggressively because this map is perfect to improve your skills like fighting in close range and awareness you will be forced to fight multiple enemies at the same time without your favorite class to help and most of the time you won't even find a class so being in these tough situations will really improve your gameplay also you get five chances to respawn without worrying about your teammates not scanning your dog tags and if you're worried about losing rank or stats then just create a new smurf account and use it to practice we're gonna use cell house as an example because it's my favorite place and from my experience the fastest way to land is to make sure that you open your parachute right on top of the spot you want to land at. In this case, I wanted to land in this corner. So I made sure that my parachute opens right on top of it. Also, I like to land in the corners like this one because this way I make sure that I don't get flanked from behind. That way I limit the chances of me getting killed. Another thing you need to worry about after landing is the camping snipers. You can find them in their natural habitats on this tower and on this tower. And they like to steal kills. They wait for you to knock an enemy and they finish them off. Then they try to kill you. Nothing's more satisfying than killing a camping sniper. But if you're gonna challenge a sniper, make sure to have a fast aim and keep moving left and right to make it hard for them to aim at you. And since they mostly won't have a vest, they will go down super fast. On this map, most of the fights will be in close range and you need to use hip fire a lot. So if you don't know how to hip fire, then you should start learning. In my opinion, shotguns dominate close range. Literally every shotgun on this map is good. But you can also use SMGs and even assault rifles for close range. Personally, for close range, I mostly use KRM, Echo, QQ9, Benek, AK-117 and even AK-47 sometimes. And for mid to long range, I use AK-47 mainly. And if I don't find it, then I use AK-117. On this map there are a total of 6 classes shown here but recently they added trickster and you can find it in airdrops. I'm not sure if it was intended or a mistake by the developers. The easiest way to find a class is to go under this tower here and if you're lucky you will find an upgrade right next to it. The best 3 classes for me are the ninja, medic and smoke bomber. Defender is also strong but I don't use it because I find it toxic. And you will notice that on the game I played later on this video I had it but I never used it. Also in my last video I mentioned that the defender had a glitch that makes your buttons disappear after you use it. I'm not sure if it still happens but I think they fixed it. Yes, I know that you get frustrated after getting killed and the first thing you think of is getting revenge from the enemy that killed you. But you need to think twice before doing that. You might have the surprise element but don't forget that you're naked, no vest and 100 HP. And if you're against a good player then you will get clapped over and over again. So I'm gonna show you two examples. One is a good revenge and the other one is a bad revenge. Let's start with a good revenge. So in here I went against an enemy and it was a bad engagement to start with because the enemy had a level 3 vest and I didn't have any. So I went down and the first thing you do when you get knocked is check the revive timer over here. If it's short then click the give up button so that you can spawn instantly after it ends 
and avoid waiting a long time anyways thanks to the kill cam i knew that this guy didn't heal up yet so it was a very good chance for revenge because i damaged him before i went down God, it's so good. Mm, mm, so good. Moving on to the bad revenge example, which is by the same player I just killed. So after I killed him again, I checked the revive timer and I noticed it's also at 8 seconds. And I knew 100% that this guy will come back for his own revenge too. So right away, I hit up and I checked the sky and guess what? It's your boy flying to his death. In general, always try to keep an eye on the revive timer, especially after killing enemies. And once it ends, take a quick peek at the sky and see if anyone's trying to backstab you or avenge their death. By the way, that guy I killed kept coming back, but he got clapped every single time. The question here, what are you supposed to do if you can't revenge? Well, you have two options. The first one is to land in a quiet place that isn't high tier and find some loot and get ready to fight. The second option is to land on an airdrop and get your best loadout weapon and a chance of getting a vest. But of course, the best option comes with a risk, as you might go against other enemies with the same plan, so keep that in mind. Another good tip to help you locate spawning enemies is the shadows. If your device supports shadows, then make sure it's enabled. Since this map is very small, there will always be action wherever you go and it's important to keep moving. If you knock an enemy, check your surroundings before you finish him off and make sure there are no other enemies around. Not only you will waste valuable time finishing him off, but you will also waste ammo and if you go against another enemy, which happens a lot by the way, you will be forced to reload and it might get you killed. Another two important skills that everyone needs to learn are drop shotting and jump shotting. For me personally, I mostly use drop shotting when I'm 1v1 because it will help you kill the enemy in front of you but at the same time during that you're basically a sitting duck and an easy target for other enemies in the same area. So when I know that I'm against more than one enemy I use jump shotting or sideways movement as I find them more effective against multiple enemies. But anyways, both are skills that every player needs to learn and Alcatraz is a perfect map to help you practice them. This isn't really a very important tip, but anyways, it's worth mentioning. There is an elevator that connects cell house to the ducks. You can use it when you're in ducks, but if you're in cell house, then I don't see any point of using it as you can simply fly off the building instead. Someone asked about this in a previous video. As you know, after you kill an enemy, the loot box will be available for a limited time only. So the question is how long until the loot box disappear? The answer is it takes 20 seconds for it to disappear. So if you get killed and you had good loot, then you can go back to your loot box if you have enough time and you can get your loot back. That was the first part of the video. Now we will move on to the second part, which is the intense 35 kills gameplay. And during that, there will be a few extra subtitle tips here and there. I'm gonna stop talking now and I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Engaging the enemies. Enemy down. Engaging that. Hello? Enemy eliminated. Be advised. Further collapse expected. Relocate to safe zone.
Using adrenaline shot now. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. Changing mag, cover me. Engaging the enemies. Surprise! <laughs> Using adrenaline shot now. What is that? I'm just not gonna move. If I don't move... They won't see me. The airdrop is coming. Adrenaline shot now. Do it! Expected. Do it! Travel to indicated safe zone. The airdrop is coming. Kill me! I'm here! Kill me! Changing mag, cover me.
The edge up is coming. The edge up is coming. Cover me. 